Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Kaswini Ojuku. I'm a blockchain developer and um, I make um, rare contents to help um, users navigate uh, through certain uh, blockchain protocols. So in this video, I will be uh, guiding you on how to configure or set up your wallet to use it on um, MXC ZK EVM um, blockchain. So uh, before we uh, go into that, let's quickly take a look at what um, MXC uh, uh, ZK EVM blockchain is. So let's look at this. So uh, we'll be using this documentation. So from what we have here, I say welcome to MXC ZK EVM Supernode V2. So um, MXC Supernode is, is a fully decentralized Ethereum equivalent Type 1 ZK EVM uh, ZK rollup uh, built on Arbitrum using Tyco ZK. So MXC is a Web3 project aimed at being the Ethereum of IoT. So our team is composed of experienced developers and blockchain experts who have a deep understanding of Web3 industry. Okay, okay, okay. So um, let me just uh, explain what um, MXC does. So MXC is uh, it's like a blockchain of um, Internet of Things. And um, so Internet of Things is, um, is a technology that tries to, to um, uh, bring interconnection between uh, uh, objects uh, on the internet. So let's look at what Internet of Things is. So the Internet of Things describes a network of physical object things that are embedded with sensors, softwares, and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging data with other devices and systems over the internet. Right? So what MXC does, MXC is a blockchain that records um, data of uh, of uh, uh, that data that has been that has been transferred between objects uh, on uh, Internet of Things, uh, 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 as the case may be. So, uh, and one thing you need to understand that the way these objects are interconnected uh, on the internet is being uh, done with a, a device called LP1. It's called um, Low Power Wide Area Network. So, uh, unlike uh, where we use uh, internet uh, connections, Wi-Fi, and all of that to connect our devices, phones, and the rest. So Internet of Things makes use of uh, it, what we call LP1. So what MXC does, MXC uh, has this LP1 in different locations, and the record transactions that are being transferred between these LP1s, between these low uh, power uh, wide area network devices, so that is what um, uh, MXC does. So MXC is like the Ethereum of Internet of Things. It's the blockchain that record transactions that happens across devices that are interconnected with each other. So yeah, so it's the Ethereum of Internet of Things. So that being said, uh, you, can, you can go through the documentation to fully understand how MXC works. But that being said, let's um, dive into the... Uh, the reason for this video, which is how to configure your wallet to use it on um, on the MXC blockchain. So we are we will go through this documentation. So uh, this guide will help you connect wallet to MXC once it testnet. There are two networks to configure your wallet with. So Arbitrum uh, Goyle testnet and the MXC once it testnet. So we are going to set up our wallet to have these two. Uh, chains, uh, uh, these two chains. So prerequisite, you have a wallet installed and ready to use. So uh, in our case, we'll be using Metamax. So now, step one, uh, add the Arbitrum Goeli network. So what you need to do, just you need to visit this link here, this link. So I'm going to click on this link, so it will take us here. And once you click on that link, they say you should search for Arbitrum Goeli. Right, so I'm going to copy this and take it to this to this guy. Let's wait for it to load. So uh, 
eyes closing let me be sure that my metamax is popping up so metamax takes sometimes metamax um takes some time to pop up okay i'll have to log in All right, so um, I'm on my Metamax is now up. Uh, this guy is taking a while to load. So what we are going to do here now, since we have copied this Abitum query, we are going to paste it in this search, in this search, and see. So now, as you can see, you have Abitum query here. All you just need to do is click on Connect Wallet. Metamax will pop up. So once Metamax pops up, you click on Next, Connect, and all you need to do now is click on Add Chain. So once you click on Add Chain, Metamax will pop up again. And okay, to ask you to switch network. So once you do that, this chain has been added so if i check my metamax now let's see so you see i'm currently on abitrum goeli so this uh, chain has been added to my metamax so going to the next step so let's add the 1c testnet that's the mxc1c testnet all you just need to do is click on copy this mxc1c here copy it so I use command C to copy it from my keyboard. Now come here and paste it here. So you see we now have MXC1C ZK EVM testnet. So you, you, my wallet is still connected. All I just need to do is click on add chain. So once this comes up, you follow the, the guide on, click the button on Metamax. So once I add it, so it, this has been added already on my um, Metamask. So I just click on switching and it's, it will take me. Uh, so if I check my Metamask now. You should see MXC1C here. So this is because I've already added it, but for yours, you see uh, when Metamax pops up, it will ask you to sign a transaction. And once you sign a transaction, it will automatically add this network to your Metamax wallet. And that's it. So, so we have added this guy. So the next thing we need to do is, um, so the step three says, use your wallet, example Metamax, import the tokens with this configuration. So let's uh, open this in another tab. And I'll also open this in another tab. Let's see what we have there. So here, um, okay, this is showing you how to add custom tokens. So I won't be using the I already know how to do that. So I'll just guide you on how to add custom uh, tokens to your MetaMask. So first thing first, so now we want to add um, RIDE. The name of this token is RIDE. We want to add it to the Arbitrum Goeli network. So first thing we need to do is copy the token contract address. So I'm going to copy it. Now open my Metamax. So I'll change my network to Arbitrum Goeli because that's where the token is. So I'll go to assets. I'll click on import tokens. Look at it here. I'll click on import tokens and I'll paste the contract address here. So once you do that, wait for it, it will automatically bring up the token symbol and the token decimal. Once it brings it up, so we have right at 18 here, you add token to network and you click import. So we now have right, I've imported the right token to my network. So you see it's here. So the next thing is to import pack. So I'm going to copy it as well. Uh, I'll still go to my wallet. So I'll 
go to assets click on import token paste the contract address here wait for it to bring the symbol and the decimal why is this one taking time okay it's up so you pack it in you add it you import the token so we have imported pack to our token list so this is pack so the third one is mxc so you copy the contract address to open your your metamax as well still on assets go to import tokens paste the address yeah wait for it to load yeah good add token import token okay so we have imported three tokens on arbitrum goily network so now we want to import these other three tokens on mxc1c network so first thing you need to do is switch your network so switch your network to to mxc1c wait for it to switch so once that is done so copy this contract address here so I'm going to copy this, uh, go back to this guy, to Metamax. Metamax is up. So as you can see, we don't have any of this here. So all we just need to do now is click on Import Tokens, paste this guy here. It's up. Add the token, import the token. Okay do that for the, the second token which is pack so go back to metamax and click on import token paste this guy here wait for it pack and we add the token import it and we are good so let's look at this guy. Let's see how many tokens we're asked to import. So they say she imports MXC ride pack tokens to your wallet. So we have imported MXC ride and pack, uh, which is yeah, which is what we have done. So for just for you to test if you actually understood what we did, so I'm gonna allow you to import the moon token by yourself. So import the moon token by yourself, and let's be sure here yeah, you got. Uh, what we did so um going back to this uh tutorial yeah so this is all about this tutorial everything so yeah uh thank you very much for watching but uh here they say troubleshooting maybe yeah, you were having issues trying to add this uh yeah, they say add chains yeah, let's say add chains button did not work that's on this uh on this guy on this page the add chain button didn't work so you can manually configure the the uh, arrow pc yourself using this configuration so let's look at this um so this um these are the uh, uh configuration uh stuff so the network name, the chain ID, the ROPC, the symbol, and all of that. So to do this, let me just guide you through this. Maybe you, the add chain didn't work for you automatically. You can manually add the chain. So all you just need to do, go to your um, Metamax, click here, click on, um, scroll down to, where is it, sorry? Click here, C click on settings. Uh, scroll down to networks and you click add network so once you do that metamax is going to open on this other page let's wait for it to come up so once metamax is here all you just need to do click on this button add network manually once you click on it it brings up this page for you so you now go back to uh where you have this where is this configuration yeah you now go back to this place so the network name let's use arbitrum goeli 
So you paste this here arbitrarily. Then you come back to the chain ID, you copy it, go here and paste the chain ID here. Then um, you go over here where you have the ROPC URL, you copy it, you paste it here. So you can see that it's already telling us that this chain ID is currently used by the Arbitrum. So this is because we have added it before. But in case yours didn't work, you go through this step to add it. So if you come back to this guy, the symbol, we are making use of ETH. I am making use of ETH, so copy it. I am using command C to copy. So put the symbol here. And for the block explorer, you copy this guy, command C and you paste it here so once you do that sorry there's a space here so i'm going to remove it so once you do that you're good to go so you can just click on save and same thing is also applicable to the other this other um, chain mxc1c you can use this tool to create a, the 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 network manually on your metamax so i think with this uh you should be good with setting up your or configuring your wallet to work with um mxc zk evm uh super node blockchain yeah so uh i'll be ending this video here so in the next video i will be guiding you on how to receive tokens uh which is this other this other um page here i'll be guiding you on how to receive tokens which will help you to uh, interact with smart contracts on the MXCZK EVM. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, do like and subscribe to this channel to get more of content like this. Thank you.